Hey guys, I'm going to be filming a Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store haul. I know this lighting is crazy. It looks super foggy in here. I had a candle lit in back of me and it just made it look so cloudy and then I know it's so bright. I had to bring in, normally I just have this one light right here in front of me and then I have the lights above me on and that seems to be okay. It's not the best, but I had to bring in another light. It's like, I feel like I'm on Broadway right now. I have these bright lights shining on me, but it's basically the only way that I feel like the quality is decent enough for you guys to see the product. So if this really bothers you and you feel like it's way too bright, just let me know and I will definitely try to tone it down a little bit. So hopefully it's not cloudy like this next time and I won't have to deal with that because I'm not going to light candles back there anymore. And I apologize for not posting videos as much as I normally do. I've just been working nonstop every day at this new job. They've been calling me in on my days off. They've just been scheduling me like eight and a half hours every single day. I'm actually, I'm really happy and thankful to God that I have a job, but I'm really getting sick of that place because I'm there like all day, every day. It's like I come home and all I have time to do is just get cleaned up, showered up, rest it up and then wake up shower again and get ready to go back to this place all over again and then i was super excited about working there because i was able to see the stuff that was coming in first and now that i started working there now the boss decides to put restrictions on the employees shopping there we can still shop there but it has to be only on our days off and the little bit of days that they are giving me off i don't feel like going back into the place that i've been all day every day so i will still shop there and i will still show you guys the stuff that i find but i'm thinking i'm going to find maybe like a new thrift store besides the place that i'm working at to kind of be like my main thrift store that I find all my goodies at. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Dollar Tree stuff first because that's the bag that I have closest to me. And the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, I did open. It is a bag of these. We used to call them tramp clap, sorry, tramp clamps because they used to be on the Jersey Shore and they were always just like in black and white. And you can get them at Sally's. I don't ever find them in colors. I always just get them in black or white, mainly just black. But I actually found them at the Dollar Tree. They came in this pretty purple, blue, green, and then this pretty pink. And the reason I opened it was because I couldn't find any of my black ones. So I just took the pink one out one day for work. And I just stuck it on there so you guys can see all the colors that it came with. And this was from the Dollar Tree. I know you guys my nails all the little charms look this one cracked all the little charms fell off there's one rhinestone on this nail both of my little mint green flowers with rhinestones fell off because this thrift store job is just so rough on my nails that I'm surprised that I even have as many nails as I still do on and I didn't even get them done that long ago so it's just crazy anyways the second thing I'm going to show you guys is this shea butter lotion it has vitamin e for soft and radiant skin it's 14.5 ounces so that's a lot of product for a dollar it looks like that and i know when i lean this way my face is getting really fogged out it's just because of the lighting so i will show this to you guys and then i will move it out of the way so i don't look so fogged out this stuff smells really really good it smells just like a hawaiian gardenia smell and it's just in that cheapy like dollar tree brand and i haven't really tested the consistency of it but it just smells so good I'm not normally a fan of gardenia but for the summer it just smells really fresh and I thought I would give it a try because there was the oatmeal with collodial or the sorry the lotion with the uh, collodial oatmeal in it that I got from the Dollar Tree it, it's like a knockoff of the Aveeno and I really love that lotion so I thought why not give this one a try then I got was there something else I took out Okay, there's this, and then, okay. Then I found the Bullfrog Kids Lotion with the SpongeBob, and it just looks like that. And you guys know that I have basically stocked up on sunscreen. I have way more sunscreen than I need, but I couldn't pass up the Bullfrog. And I purchased all this stuff like three or four days ago, and I watched some videos yesterday morning, and I heard someone saying, talking about that they had seen the Bullfrog, so I was actually happy that I got it a couple days ago because I heard people saying it was a really good deal. I don't know if I told you the ounces. It's five fluid ounces. It's broad spectrum SPF 35. So I just know my son will like it because it's got SpongeBob on it. Then I got, I had showed you guys, and I just took them off this vanity and put them in the closet. I should have kept them here. I showed you guys that I bought all three of these hair gels in this brand. 
um, in a previous Dollar Tree haul and I found the body wash and they did have all three different of the same ones as the gel but this was the only one that I thought smelled good so I bought it it's a men's body wash and it's in the marine so they have like the blue the light caramel brown and then I believe the green and I just thought this one smelled the best and this one is how many ounces is this oh my stomach's growling I'm really hungry you guys it's 12.0 ounces so that's quite a bit of a body wash my hair's sticking up up there so I got that then I got which okay these this is the reason I went to the Dollar Tree I was watching Laura XO Bel Beliza she I don't know how to say it I apologize because um, I know she sometimes does watch my videos so I'm sorry girl that I mispronounce your last part of your screen name but she actually was showing these pins right here and tell me these are not so super cute they've got all these really cute like colored pearls on them and you guys know I love pearls I always wear my pearls and I was like oh my gosh I have got to get those pins because I need pins in the front of my apron while I'm working um, at the thrift store I work in the back and then they've moved me up to the cash register and you definitely have to have your own pins because everyone brings their own and then they take them when they leave so I had called my Dollar Tree and asked them if they had them I described them to them they said they didn't have them and I was like you know what I'm gonna go down there and look because there's been many of times that I've called and asked them if they had a certain product they said no and then I found it so I went down there a couple days ago after I called and sure enough I found them so I picked up two of them I was super excited about finding these I thought they were really really cute and these were in the stationary aisle just um right next to all the like notepads and the pens and markers stuff like that so they say they have black ink it just says stationary takeout ballpoint pens so yeah I believe that was everything that I got from the Dollar Tree I really didn't get that much from the Dollar Tree um, mainly everything I got was from 99 cent only store I seem to have a little a little bit um, better luck at 99 cent only store so on one of my lunch breaks at um, the Good Samaritan I had already eaten on my break so I decided I would go over to the 99 cent only store because it is across the street so um, I actually was almost late to coming back for my lunch but this really nice guy let me go ahead of him so I didn't have to leave this stuff behind so the first thing that I got and I've showed this to you guys before was the spick and span in the midnight meadow it's the lasting fresh scent with 22 ounces I absolutely fell in love with the scent of this stuff so I definitely had to pick up another one let me see then I got I found this and this was just in like an aisle I think it was in the stationary aisle just like shoved back it was like in a spot where it didn't belong and I didn't see a spot like a home for it so I know that these were all snagged up I found this Veet and it is the hair like the hair removal kit and it comes with the like two bottles one is the hair removal cream the other is the gentle finishing cream and then it comes with like a little like wand thing that you're supposed to one end you apply the cream and then the other you remove it with and this stuff I know supposedly works really good I've seen some good reviews on it and I do prefer a cream over like waxing I think it's it doesn't like hurt as bad and I did use this today on my like lip or whatever and it burned so bad and I think the only reason that it burned because I think I used beet a long time ago was because I've been using the proactive now I've only been using it for two days but it's a very drying to your skin because it's a three-step I actually have it right here it's like a three-step little kit and you have to use the like little facial cleanser then you have to use the revitalizing toner then you have to use the repairing treatment all over your face and it also came with a refining mask which I have yet to use so I think that because I've been using the proactive it just my skin was super dry and when I put this on top of it it just made it burn so bad it did remove a lot of the hair but as long as I'm using the proactive I don't think that I will reuse this maybe until I don't know I skip a day of using the proactive or something maybe if I know I'm gonna use this I just won't use my proactive that day I don't know but it did remove a lot of the hair and um, it does have the gentle finishing cream which when I did put that on it did soothe it a lot it was kind of like a cream mixed in with a really oily um, 
like an oily, I don't know what to call it, just like a lotion or whatever. So I thought this was a super good deal for a dollar. It was the last one. So definitely look for those. Then I found, I hope I put that, yeah, I did put it back in there. And I don't know, I thought this was from the Dollar Tree, but I could be wrong. It's in the 99 cent only bag, but I'm pretty sure this was from the Dollar Tree. It's the Celestial Body um, Hair Removal Wax Strips, and it's for your face and underarms, it says, which I would never wax my underarms, I just shave. It says it has avocado oil. It comes with six wax strips total, three double-sided, and um, I did test one of these out today, and it did work. So it just looks like that. I know this light is really bright. So basically what they are is it comes like this and then you open it up and each side has wax on it. So it only comes with three, but when you pull them apart, it has, like it says, double sided. But when you open them, you have to basically be ready to use both of them because if you don't, it's just going to be sitting there like without being protected and closed. So I got that and I thought this worked pretty well. I wouldn't probably try this on like really tough hair, but like facial hair, I think this would actually do the job. Then I found these and these are from 99 cent only store. I found these cute tribal revival bows. And they just look like that. It's got the kind of baby blue one, the like mango colored one or peach or whatever. Then it's got these tribal looking ones. And the reason I got these is because it is so hot at my work. I wear my hair up and right back here down, like not on my neck, but kind of where my hair meets my neck. I have like baby hair there and it's curly and I don't like the way it looks. So I always clip it back so it looks smooth. So I just thought that with a little bow, it might look a lot cuter than just having like a regular clip. So I got those. Then I found, oh, and those are not in any specific brand. It just says Tribal Revival. Then in the scrunchie brand, I found these super cute knotted pony tailors, and they look like that. This one came with the pretty turquoise color, the gray, the like eggshell off-white color, the brown, the pink, and the black. And this little gray one is so cute. It's got like a little charm on it, like a crystal, if you can see. And that's actually in the scrunchie brand. Then I found another set of the scrunchy knotted pony tellers, and they're the same thing, they're just different colors. And then this gray one also has a little crystal on it. This one's orange, this one's like a dark brown, almost black, a uh, neon green, neon pink, and then black. So I thought that for the scrunchy brand, those were actually really good deals. They just look like that. Then I found this really cute it's like a little party disco ball, it looks like that, and it's got a little string, so it's like a mini disco ball, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I thought it might look cute hanging from the mirror of my car, but I already have like a little crown that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I paid like 20 bucks for it, and it's only like that big. It's got all these pearls and rhinestones on it, so I really don't want to take my crown, and I have like a rosary cross in there, a really pretty expensive one, so I really don't want to take those down, but I know I'll find something cute to do with this little mini disco ball. I just couldn't pass it up. Maybe like an arts and crafts, or I don't know. I just thought it was too cute, so I got that. Then I got, I don't know why this is in there. This is from a previous haul. Sorry, guys. Then I found another, what do you know, another sunscreen, you guys. But this one looked like a good brand. It's in the Mission brand. It's Sun Defeated Continuous Spray Sunscreen for Broad Spectrum SPF 50. So the reason I got this one is because it says it is Athlete Engineered Protection. It's actually SPF 50, which is, like, super awesome. If you know you're going to be at the lake or somewhere that you're going to get like a really um, like over amount of sun expo exposure. This is the perfect um, like SPF to use 50. Um, it sprays on, so I picked that up. Then I found, and I know a lot of people hate Justin Bieber now. I used to be like a super huge fan of Justin Bieber. I, I'm not really a fan anymore. I still like him. I don't love him or anything, but I could not pass these toothbrushes up because I know these are definitely more than a dollar. The first one I found, and I know when I press the button, they're going to keep singing in the background, but I have to show them to you guys. This one plays two songs. It's the Brush Buddies, Justin Bieber singing Toothbrush Jr., and this has one of his old songs, Baby You Smile, so it's like an older one. It just looks like that. I wish these lights weren't so bright so you could see them, and you just press it. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. And then you press it again, and it changes to baby you smile. I hope I can turn it off. Come on. Okay, good, that one turned off. These ones I don't think turn off. So these are like the newer ones with his newer songs on it. And I was so surprised that they had these for a dollar at 99 cent only store. So this one you press it. And I don't know if this one only has one song or two songs. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. Come on. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Okay, let me see it. Oh, I guess it, oh, it does have two songs. Let me see if you guys can hear that. I'm putting it really close so you guys can hear it. Or wait, does it have more than two songs? Okay, it has two songs. Oh my gosh, it's going to keep playing. Let me try and like throw it over there so it's not as loud. Oh my gosh. So this is the third one, and it looks like that. And let me press this one. This one has a song Boyfriend on it. I don't know where my speaker is. And now we have these toothbrushes going in the background. I'm going to throw this one over there. You guys can probably still hear them, but I didn't want to not play them for you guys because I just thought those were a good deal for a dollar. I know I'm going to get made fun of for it, and I know a lot of people hate Justin Bieber right now, but I don't know. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if I'm going to give them away or if I'm going to keep them. I know I'm going to at least keep one, so I got those. Then I got, for my son, I got, when he was in kindergarten, I those things better shut off soon. I got, in kindergarten, I used to get him every single day that he would go to school, with the exception of maybe, like, five days in total. I would get him these belly washers, that's what they're called, and I used to put it, surprise him with a new one every day when he was in kindergarten in his little lunch pail, and I found them at 99 cent only, so I couldn't pass them up. I got two of the SpongeBob ones. SpongeBob looks stoned, you guys. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I got two SpongeBob ones, so there's that one. And my son actually already drank one of the other Spongebob ones. That's why there's only one in there. Then I got him the Iron Man. And I guess these say that they're 100%. Those toothbrushes are still going. They better not be playing the whole song. Hopefully that's not like messing up you guys hearing what I'm saying. Okay, so this says... Hold on one second, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh my gosh. How embarrassing. Oh my gosh. That's so embarrassing. I know I should probably edit that out, but oh, whatever. So, okay. So I got the Iron Man one and I was telling you guys that it has a hundred percent juice, no sugar added fruit punch, eight fluid ounces. And that's the Iron Man one. Then the last one that I got him, and they did have more than just these characters, but I only bought him four. I got him the Patrick one. So I got two SpongeBobs, one Patrick, and then one Iron Man. So then, let's see. I had showed you guys in a previous video that I got these shorts, and they were in the Miley Cyrus brand. They just look like that. And this time I found... Um, the, it's like a yellow color in them. And I know, like I said last time, those are huge. That's just what has to fit me. So this is also, and these ones are from this trip and the pink ones are from the last 99 cent haul that I did. So here's the tag that shows you that they're Miley Cyrus. And I also told you guys that they had the rompers, but none of the rompers like were in my size. So I couldn't get them. So there's those. These are both of them together. That's like both of the prints or whatever. So I just thought that two pairs of shorts for the summer for a dollar were, well, two dollars, a dollar each was a super good deal. I don't normally like to wear shorts too much, but when I do, I know these are going to be comfortable because they're cotton material. Well, I think they're cotton. Let me see. Just says made in Indonesia. I guess the like thing with the fabric is probably in a different spot. So then let me grab another bag. I'm so happy that I'm actually getting to film 
a haul. I feel like I haven't filmed one in so long. And I almost thought about just like stopping the video and filming it again later because I had to stand up and put those toothbrushes out. But I'm not even going to. I don't care. I have pajama pants on right now and I don't care. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave the video like that. I know that you guys are not here for the way I look. You guys are here to see the stuff that I bought. So I picked up another thing of my Dove. It's in the pink and it's the Beauty Cream Bar with one fourth moisturizing cream. So I think these are a really good deal. I told you guys before that I added up the price when you pay for like the four packs and it's actually cheaper. Well, from certain stores like considering like if you bought it from Target it's actually cheaper to just pay like a dollar each per bar then I got um two dials and they did have soft soap at 99 cent only store and I do like soft soap better than dial but I couldn't pass up this 25 percent bonus size and I really like the way this one smells this is in the cherry blossom and almond it just looks like that and it's actually a pretty big one with the bonus this is 9.3 9.375 fluid ounces so there's that one and then this one smells really good too but this is just the smaller one it, this one says it's new it's the almond milk and it's 5.5 ounces and it just looks like that so I got both of these dials you can see like that one's way huger and it's way wider that's just like ridiculous how much bigger that is oh my gosh I'm so hot you guys then I couldn't pass these up and yes these are more sunscreens I know I'm turning into like a sunscreen freak okay the only reason I didn't pass these up is because they were copper tone I got two of them and they're the tattoo guard with UVA UVB sunscreen and it says it won't irritate sensitive skin moisturizing formula great for larger tattooed areas two fluid ounces and the reason I got these is because I do plan on getting another tattoo and I figured with summer here it would be nice to have something to put over them that wouldn't draw the ink out because I looked online and these are supposed to be formulated to not have the oils that really draw the ink out of your tattoos and also the sun really fades your tattoos so that's why I got these they are smaller because they are two ounces but that's just I thought that was kind of a really awesome idea so they are copper tone and they have those really cute roses on the side I could always just throw one of these in my purse because they are small then I got let's see I think this is the last bag you guys I didn't get like tons of stuff this time because this was all stuff that I just bought on my lunch break and then the other um, the Dollar Tree stuff was just stuff I ran to get the pins for so I will be going to the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store tomorrow or the next day for sure and putting up another haul very shortly for you guys. I just wanted to get one up for you guys now. And then I found these really, really cute, they're like wannabe mason jars and they were colored. Normally you find them in like the clear colors and I found them in like four or five different colors and you guys know that I had picked out some of the glass vases in pink and purple. So I got one in purple, which I thought was so cute. This is going to be, I just hate this lighting right now. It makes such a glare and you can barely see it. But I thought these would be so cute. I don't know what I would do with these. I got the purple one and then let me show you the pink one so you can see them side by side. I thought these would be really cute to do some type of a craft, some type of a project with them. And so here's the pink and then there's the purple. They look very similar in this lighting, but they are different. So here's purple, there's pink. If you guys have any ideas of what kind of craft I could do with these, maybe I could just store beauty products in them. I don't know. Or maybe I could do some homemade jam. I don't know. I just thought those were really cute. They also had turquoise and they had pink, purple, turquoise, and one more color. Oh, green. Yeah, so, and that's what the top of the lids looked like, just silver. I think someone's ringing my doorbell, but they're just going to have to wait. Okay, then I found these really cute little, like, statue, little, like, figurines. And I thought this one was so pretty. It's just, like, a little swallow, kind of like what I have on my wrist. It's a little bird, and it's sitting, like, on a little, like, I don't know, little statue ball thing. And it's, like, a really kind of, like, brushed gold color. Then I got, let me see... I think this is the other bird I got. 
They had owls as well, and the owls were cute, but I liked the birds better. This is the other bird, and this is a darker color, so let me show them to you side by side. That's the more gold one, and then this one's a little bit darker, and this bird's a little bit more plump with his feathers, and this one's a little bit more skinny. So there's that one, and then there's that one. I just thought these were cute. I don't know. I'm not going to put them together, but I will put them somewhere in my house. You guys, I have way too much stuff that I just don't even know what to do with. All these hauls, I have so much. I don't know if the word is back stock, but I have so many products that are just unopened. I really kind of need to take a break. I don't think I can, though. I watch people's videos, and just like I saw Modiva say, she rushes out. She'll pause the video, rush out, and go buy those items. That's how I am. I don't usually pause the video, but after I watch the video, I will go pick those items up. So I don't really think I can take a break on buying this stuff, to be honest. And then I believe the last item I have to show you guys, which I thought was absolutely adorable. Sorry, the lady kind of wrapped these up so they wouldn't break. Was this cute little giraffe. And it just looks like that. And if you can see, it's got these really pretty, like, little mirrored. They kind of look like rhinestones. That's why I got it. So it's this... African looking giraffe with these little rhinestone looking mirrors on them that are like really blinged out So they didn't have any other like African looking animals with the rhinestones or else I would have got them But I just thought the giraffe was super cute. So That's I believe everything that I got I did pick up this card But this was from Walmart and the reason I wanted to show you guys is because now they have a little section Well, they've always had a section on different holidays where they have 47 cent cards but they had like a way huger selection this time. So I got this card for 47 cents. I just thought it was super sweet. It's got the little um, piece of cake and it says just for you birthday girl. And it says hoping it's sweet and candle bright. A big slice of happy from morning till night. And it's Hallmark if you can see that. You probably can't. Yeah. You can't see it. But it's a Hallmark card. So I thought 47 cents for a Hallmark card was a good deal and I will just put this aside so that way if someone has a birthday that comes up and I don't have a card available I can just grab that one and then I wanted to show you guys there's a couple regulars that come into my work every day and there's a lady and a man that come in and the wife is always looking for Disney movies and I actually am always keeping an eye out for Disney movies and I'm always telling them when they come in I'm always telling them about certain deals and so they I guess were so appreciative of my help that they brought in like a stack of lipsticks and they were from if you can see the body shop I don't know if you guys can see that yeah you can barely see it but it's got the body shop on it you can see they're unopened and he had like a stack of them and he said, I have a stack of these and I just wanted to let you pick one because I think you're really, really nice. You're very helpful. Me and my wife really appreciate you going above and beyond to help us. So I was, I know this is small, but it just really touched my heart that someone like appreciated um, me going above and beyond to help them. So he, there was like a couple different colors to choose from and I chose, if I can see this, I used to have to look at stuff really close when I was younger. Now I feel like I have to hold it back. I think that's just... Like, with age that comes. This is number 71, and it's just a really pretty, like, kind of Barbie pink color, I want to say. I don't really see a name on it. It just says 71. But if you can see that color, it's just a really pretty Barbie pink. I haven't opened it yet. I just thought that was really nice of him, and I wanted to share that with you guys. But anyways... I hope you guys have enjoyed everything that I have showed you guys, and I hope you guys can find some of this stuff if you like what I showed you. I will be putting up another haul very soon, and thank you for all of your guys' very nice comments. I've been trying to catch up on them today, so if there's some that I missed, hopefully I can get to those either later on tonight or tomorrow morning, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.